Hey everybody, how's it going today? Super Fiend here. Welcome back to our Total War 3 Kingdoms playthrough as Winshu. We have left the episode at another cliffhanger. You might as well call me Sylvester Stallone at this point. Although I am much younger and I think more handsome. Uh, in any case here, uh, who is this again? Zhang Min Xiang is laying siege with three armies. Uh, if I turn off the night battle, we can see the other armies here. So, I mean, they've got they've got some forces. Not gonna lie, that has me a little concerned. And I had said that we were gonna fight a night battle here with with them and just kind of pick them off and get them out of here. However, I went upstairs. I'm recording back to back. I went upstairs, made some coffee, uh, used the restroom where I do my best thinking, and I kind of came up with an alternate strategy. And so I just want to look at it really quick here. And, and just see how it's going to pan out. They have fire arrows. Ugh. They have fire arrows. Now, what I'm thinking is that this settlement can hold out for 10 turns. 10 turns, okay? 10. That's a lot. Uh, probably three turns before we take attrition. Four if we're incredibly uh, lucky and things really go well for us. Uh... If they fight the battle, they can't get everything onto the field at once. And we've got Jean Sword Guard, Archer Militia, unfortunately, Rapid Tiger Infantry. We got Spear Guards, Jean Sword Guard Cavalry. There is a very strong possibility that should they attack, uh, we can hold them off. Strong possibility. And so now, I'm trying to weigh. And then we have, you know, we got a retinue in here as well. With Warriors of Yi and Saber Infantry. And, and we're going to get all this stuff in the battle. And they're only going to get like two armies. And then other stuff is going to trickle onto the field. So here's what I'm thinking. If we go ahead, we fight these night night battles, even if we win, okay, let's say we do win. Uh, very quickly, we're going to get sieged again with no time to replenish. So that's going to be bad. That's going to be bad, right? And not only that, but Zhang Min Xiang, who is way up here, like all this territory. I, I, I don't like this drop down. Uh, but she's got all this territory, right? And Gong Soon Sai has this. And maybe some stuff over here, like we can't really see. Uh, but then this little stretch in here. And so, you know what I'm kind of thinking? Because we've just pummeled last episode, Gong Soon Sai. Let's go ahead and change this back to Attitude, because that's the one that I really like to look at most of the time. I love red. <laughs> I love red. And then we have Duchy of Song. has got two forces down here. He's got some more coming in. We are recruiting a full stack over here, and we're going to have an assignment that improves mustering uh, next turn at least. We poisoned provisions here, so I don't think they're going to come up and attack us. we got a pretty strong army here. They may push down past here and attack stuff. And if they do, Tuoba Jun, Win Mao, ooh, he's, a, um, he's, he's part of the family. Um, so some people could die here, right? Some people could die, but... Gong Soon Sai, Weekend, Lady Fang, Ma Chao, they're right here, right next to Hadong. Um, this might be our chance to come across this river and bring some pain. And the other thing is, is if we do come through here, if we make it up this way to Zhang Min Xiang, I'm going to guess that all of our armies are down here. And so the thing is, is if we do fight these night battles and we win, that's great. Maybe we can get peace. But she's just going to immediately start recruiting again back up here, and then she'll be back a little bit later. However, her forces down here are tied up. They cannot all help in this battle. Uh, as long as she's over here laying siege for a handful of turns, uh, these armies can't come in and do too much. we got an army recruiting right here. we got an army recruiting right there. You know, a couple turns, a couple battles, post-battle loot. We could maybe get another army down here at Nanyang. It might be enough. It might be enough. And so I know I said we were going to fight that battle over there. But now I'm changing my mind. I am altering the deal. Can I get across the river right here? Two turns, two turns. Uh, we do have to be a little careful about our trade port. Uh, in fact, let's use our trade port. And then we got uh, Kong Rong here in a boat. 
but he's not doing much. Okay, so what if I come all the way to here? Because they don't have any zone of control in the rivers, right? So what if I come all the way to here? I wonder how this will work. And then Lady Fang goes through Liu Yang. I hope I can do this right and get both of my armies here. I hope I can. Uh, but then we need to sit her like... Okay, we'll just come out to here. And then his zone of control ends right there. And then now... He's forced march. Lady Fang should be close enough. What? Oh, you're Zhang Jiang. Why am I trying to sneak up on you? No, we got to get over here to Gongsun Sai, this army. Okay. Whoops. I thought they were both Gongsun Sai. Ah, but look at this. Did Ma Chao get on the land at least? Come on. Uh, maybe if we full speed it, how much further can he move? All right, it doesn't look like he can get up here. So, at least not until we get rid of this army. And she can't reach him. Okay, so it's not going to work uh, the way I wanted to do it originally. So, Ma Chao, can you get over to there? Can I full speed you up onto the shore here? Okay, good. Can I get you up? There you are. All right, that looks like that's about as good as it's going to get. So where'd the other... Oh, the other Gongsun Sai Force ended up over here by the uh, Jade Mine. And hopefully Lu Bu will do something awesome and get rid of them. And we're still at war with this guy. Uh, as of now, I don't think he's strong enough to do anything. You look like you're laying siege. Yep. Suffering attrition. Ma Sai, so we don't care about him. Uh, if we pop in here, are there any other seek cooperation? That's new. Offer to cooperate. Offer to cooperate with this faction and support their govern governorship, thereby becoming their vassal. Being their vassal grants them a portion of your income and commits you to their wars of attack. Um, So what's the difference between cooperating and being a vassal? Now, th stuff has changed. Stuff has changed. See cooperation. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's very typical of a legendary campaign and diplomacy. I'm used to that. Okay, nothing going on in there. No trade agreements, right? Yep, we have filled up our trade agreements. So I like I like this idea better. Um, okay, let's get the map turned back around. And where is everything? It's up here. So I like this idea of holding out here. Now, if they attack us, um, you know, with the towers and the deployables, an army and a garrison and a administrator, I think we could hold three stacks. I think we could do it. I could get Zhang Jian to join in this war too. That would be, that would be cool. I wish I could get her to stop fighting Kingdom of Wu, and just be like, um, no, not declare war. No. Oh, I wish I could get you to come over and help me. You really like me. Uh, we could maybe trade some food with people that. That like a sort by attitude, sort by deal, sort by relative strength. We only have two people that like us. Lubu. Who has 10 food. I can't offer food trade. Am I already offering food trade? I am already offering food trade. But she's got plenty of food so we're not getting anything from that okay that's as much as i can do right now after a couple turns i'll try to start recruiting a new army let's see what happens here okay Li mao getting close to us don't like that oh that's ugly
So it looks like they laid siege at the uh, lumberyard there, which I was really not expecting. Kingdom of Wu will invite Zhang Jiang. She's going to decline, but I'm going to say sure. Why not? But isn't she at war with him? Did they declare peace? I thought she was at war with Kingdom of Wu. Yeah, she's um she's going in a different direction now. Uh, my C offers us peace on behalf We're not even at war with you. What the hell? Um, okay. So what happened to Gong? Oh, Gong Soon Sai uh, defected. He defected. I love this. Gong Soon Sai is like, hey, uh, Kingdom of Song, you're not able to protect me or Duchy of Song, whatever. And they just bounced to a whole new faction. And I don't want to be at war with Maasai. Like, he's over here. We got non-aggression pack. So, I am forced to accept this. Interesting. I, I did not see that come. Oops, I, I bumped my whole mic setup. I didn't see that coming at all. That really surprised me. So, that kind of changes the strategy here. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Kingdom of Wu vassalized Duchy of Song? Get out of town. Well, now what am I able to do? Oh my god. As you can tell, I'm speechless. Um, I've never seen that happen before. Oh dear. Um, so did all these other factions just get tossed to the wind? I'm hoping. And I can still go after this annoying lady who's way up here. But, wow, in terms of where do I go from here, this is rough. This is rough. Uh, Han Fu, you're small. So, like, is Kingdom of Wu just going to vassalize everything now? And the next time I'm at war, it's going to be with Kingdom of Wu, too? Because that's not cool. We're in a coalition together. He really... Uh, he, he really hates me. Why would you hate me? Oh, dear. And he's a kingdom, too, so... Uh, Yellow Turban. Liu Yao. Liu Yao. Oh, great. I'm so happy he's coming back. Oh my gosh. Are you at war with Liu Yao? Of course you're not. How are you at war with Zhang Jiang? He, so you can invite people to your coalition if you're still at war with them. Or maybe he was asking for peace, invite the coalition, and so when he prompted her with that we got dragged into it and then she just declined i i don't know okay so who's homeless like all this over here is homeless and now i can't go kill this and i i can't even come over here and like get this stuff oh my gosh oh 
Uh, this does not give me a lot of options here. Really doesn't give me a lot of options. Um, well, Zhang Min Xiang still has three armies down here, which is going to be probably everything she has, right? So, a Gong Sun Sai. Let's. Yeah, because you absolutely hate me. I could issue ultimatums and like force the Duchy of Song out of this, but I don't know. Now, who is Duchy of Song at war with? He should probably be at war with Lu Bu. Yeah, so he's going to throw everything that way. I am just so shocked by that turn of events. I, I never could have predicted that happening. There's no way. There's no way I could have predicted that. Wow. And it just screwed up everything I was going to do up here. God. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, I think if we come into the river with these armies then, they'll replenish. Pretty sure. Really, we're not replenishing, even though we... Okay, well, at least we're not getting the diplomatic penalty for trespassing on Gong Soon Sai that hates us. Redonkulous. She's no longer at war with Lu Bu, so he's now lost his... his jade mine. And Ma Sai's got all this territory. He's only at war with Liu Zhang. How does he feel? He's neutral with Kingdom of Wu. See, like, it'd be nice if we could get him to help us fight Kingdom of Wu. Kingdom of Wu is going to turn on us now. And they've got, like, the whole map is behind them. This is absolutely dreadful. Oh, boy. This is dreadful. Well, good news is, is um, we still have how many turns here? Uh, three turns until we run out of supplies. So that does give us some time to get the recruitment going on here. I don't know if we could do it in, in as few turns as it needs to be done, but I'm thinking we should still, with Machow and Lady Fang, just Blitzkrieg up here. Get into this territory. I was really hoping we could get a foothold over here so that the next time Duchy of Song and all of his buddies declare war, they kind of filter down this way a little bit and leave our territory alone here. Got this stuff to worry about, too. I mean, I, I think we can kill them pretty easily, but... Just what a nasty, ugly turn of events. And we got somebody with a skill point. Okay, I like that. And they haven't attacked us yet, so they don't really favor their chances here. And we have night battles with Tuoba Jin's army. So, like, with Tuoba Jin, we could come up and hit this uh, smaller army here led by the faction leader. Oh, my gosh. That really threw me for a wrinkle here. Okay, which way do we want to go with this? I think we want to upgrade. No, no, we're going to hold off on the building upgrades. Much as I'd like to get it done. Kingdom of Wu is going to go hostile on us here very soon. They're going to remove us from the coalition, and then we have about 10 turns. 10 turns. 
I mean, if we get close enough down the river here before Kingdom of Wu goes hostile, we could hit them deep in their territory here. I don't think, or, or, um, Duchy of Song. We could go after Han Fu. Like, I think he'd be powerless to stop us right now. He's going to go crawling under uh, somebody's skirt, and then we're going to be forced to make peace with him, too. Uh, but for right now, I can't do any movement or anything, so... Ugh. Uh, we still have Liu Mao that we got to worry about. And this putz is just trespassing through my territory. Guys. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh. Uh, maybe we should think about giving Kingdom of Wu military access for now. Oh, she broke the siege. She peeled off. Uh, she's going to go after our farms or Chen or something instead. Oh, uh, well, that's not bad because then they may take uh, attrition for a military supply reduction. All we have to do is get ahead of them. And then Liu Yao, uh, war declared between Gong Soon Sai and, yeah, that, that guy with the punchable face. Kong Rong signed a peace treaty with Lu Bu. Oh. Coalition between these two. Okay. Uh, so Liu Yao is going to get slowed down by this river, but it's not going to slow him down for long. We, we need to get something into that farm. And then Liu Mao here too? We don't have uh, trebuchets there. Oh, I really want to get across this river. I don't think it's going to work, though. I really hate Kingdom of Wu right now. I I can't believe this has happened. Uh, supporting independence would mean that if he declares independence and ends up at war with uh, Maasai, we end up at war, I believe. I don't like that. Oh, gosh. If I could get over here and get this little peninsula, that would leave us strong. I could do that we're in the river I mean we can move really far right now so there's a possibility we could make that happen uh, he's got fire arrows but they're using a bunch of crossbow men uh, he's got ye archers though so they will melt our towers over here Now, I know I could cause some damage here if I fought them. Uh, 
Uh, you can't get quite far enough down this river for me. Are we getting the movement range? And we're not replenishing right now either, so... Uh, I think... I think Lady Fang is forced to come back into our territory so that she can replenish. And... Same with Ma Chao. I think he's just got to get back onto the shore here. The two of them together, I think, could have taken Hadong even with this army in here, in whatever state it was in, but... Yeah, Kingdom of Wu vassalizing Duchy of Song just... Like, why? Why Why would Duchy even go along with that? It doesn't make sense. They're worlds apart. Duchy of Song's got all these vassals. He's pretty strong up here. He thinks he's beating the crap out of me. I don't get it. I don't get that. Is this guy oh this guy's ready ooh 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 ooh, ooh. um ba, 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 ba. Uh, <laughs> we have an administrator here who is it oh it's Zhang Liao so we don't have extra garrison and then we got you, which you look like you're going to come over here. You know what? I'm going to go over here. <laughs> and I got to go, I got to make that little itty bitty teeny weeny trespass over there in Duchy of Song's territory to do that. Stupid. So if I don't come over and squish you. Or if I don't go up and squish you, I have to squish one of you. This guy's weaker. Lady Fang and Macha are right here. So I think who we have to squish is this army and squish her hard. And we're going to do that by coming all the way up here. She's going to retreat. She's got no choice. Um, I didn't think you had the movement range to get there. Okay, we need all the advantages. So... I think we can do it. We're going to have to get right in their face and do good with our cav. We have tons of cavalry. And I can't remember if they are, but I'm really hoping that these are the uh, Xi'an sword guard. Mounted saber militia. Woohoo! Yeah, we got our oil pit. Yay. We have our spikes, whatever. Our tower. I don't even really care about these things. Oh, look. They got their tower. That's cute. Do I have fire arrows? With these guys, I do. And I can set uh, these guys right here in turtle. I don't have any more vanguard. Uh, but then we got some mounted lancer militia that can hide in the trees. We got some saber militia that can hide in the trees. And we got archer bow militia. Now, if they do send anything this way, then our tower should be able to... Um, have range on that.
Boy, we got lots of cav. Okay. I have no idea what's going to happen in this battle. Right, let's get up to here, though. They look like they're going to come over towards us a little bit. So what we want to do is get up here. Uh, we want to see if we can hit their tower. Just get that thing set on fire would be nice. So do they have oil too then? I'd imagine. Can we see where their oil slick is hidden? No, nah, we got no idea. No idea. None whatsoever. And these guys are going to have a decent block chance. Let's, um, well, let's put them here first. And then set these guys like there. Hook up there. I can't see how far their taro tower has on uh, range. So let's just move up. Close enough to where we can shoot it and then we're, we'll just melt it. Okay, we're going to need to get a little bit closer, but I also want to um, spread them out a little bit because when I give them the attack order, I don't want them to crisscross onto each other. Okay, so about to there. And then, um, yeah, we're going to need these guys to come up and protect us here. Okay, they're taking fire. Um... No, get up closer. Uh, let's just stop there. Okay, get him. I'm trying to draw some missile fire back this way. Uh, not here. This stuff's unshielded. You guys be a little bit more patient. Okay, it's on fire. So let's go after the crossbows now. Bring these guys up. Bring these guys out. Uh, we'll come up with these guys. Come out of this. Okay, hidden men are seen. Please do more damage to the crossbows. Yeah, we're getting hurting there bad it's okay it's mounted saber militia not my world's best units come on can you like shoot them do more damage to the crossbows all right let's get down there get over there get over there uh the plan after this is the force march back into the settlement okay so, uh, let's get rid of that. Uh, no. No. I want you shooting that stuff, please. Okay, we're breaking that one now. Break, break, break. Break, 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 break. And let's bring one and two, boom, over there. And uh, one and two, boom, over there. Uh, get that. W what do you guys... You idiots. Okay, let's get into the back. Sometimes it's easier to turn the uh, camera around and fight from the AI's perspective. Uh, let's shoot that, that, 
I shoot her. Okay, why are you guys like chasing after everything? Uh, we need some reinforcements over there, I think. Uh, shoot that, please. Keep him out of it. Okay, tie him up. Get in here on this guy. Get over there. Run that off. You're coming in. You're coming in. You're coming in. You're coming in. Reinforcements down here, please. Okay, we've broken that. Shoot that. And then you shoot that over there. Okay, stay on him. He's broken. Oh, wow. We broke her. Okay. Okay, you're going to go there. You're going to go there. You're coming across this way. We need to help this unit over there. Okay, stay on her. Stay on them. Oh, wow. We've shattered them. Oh, yeah. I love it. Big, fat, decisive victory here. Okay, so what are we still chasing after? Why is the paddle not over? Crush them. Uh, you come over here. Spear guards? Really? Like a unit of spear guards. Is the big hold up here. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's kill off all those spear guards. Okay, you shoot all that. You run that down. Like, what's going on? Are we still fighting in here? They are defeated. They're done. <laughs> it's a unit of cav. This happened uh, in another battle where there's like one holdout unit of cav on the field. Um... Run that off. Run that off. Alright, go get that calf. This is, dare I say, a little bit stupid. Let's go get the archer militia. Axe band. <laughs> is our tower shooting him too as he's retreating? Probably. Uh, so let's pull him out. These guys are shattered. He's going to come back and like charge into our rear. Watch. Um. Yeah, he came back. He came back. He's not done. He's like, no, I still got some fight me. No, the tower did it. Now he's broken again. Let's run up and ignite this. Let's watch it happen. The other cavalry, there they are. Finish that off, please. There it is. And I'm gonna run them down too. All right, I don't care about this. I'm just gonna I'm gonna run out the timer here. Because I don't want to deal with these Muppets again after this. I'm gonna kill everything. I don't think he's going to catch any of this. One. Okay, go over here and kill the 11. Okay, absolutely crushed that army. So, I was right. We got it done. Took a little bit of time. I'm not messing around with this faction. Because we don't really have a lot of factions we can attack. So, we got to take what we can get and do it decisively. Okay, that's good enough. That's pretty good. Very good. Strong show of might. Absolutely annihilated them.
He's not bad, but actually he's kind of good. Oh, man. Stone Archer. Uh, I'm going to release the two of them. And... I'm going to take the ransom here. Uh, because I think we're going to force March him back towards the settlement anyways. Yeah. And so he's not really going to be replenishing. Uh, before we do that, though, I don't suppose you have any movement to go up there. No, you don't. And then if we were to come over here, that uses 66% of her movement. And so what I'm really concerned with is this right here. They can... Uh, that army too. See, I really want to shut down this force right there. And I think the way to do it is just with a 70% chance of ambush. Oh, darn. It's the movement that's going to make this not possible. Uh, so then our other option is to plow through her. But then we're stuck fighting two armies here. And then there's still Li Miao out there. If I zoom out. Yeah, so... I don't know who goes first, but they can only get over here in Force March. So if um, Zhang Min Xian goes first, I think they're going to swing down this way or towards Chen. I don't think they'll go towards the Lumberyard. Uh, Li Miao may try to take it, and I think we could defend it against just this one army. And even if we can't, Lady Fang and Ma Chao are going to get it right back. So up here. Really, I have to. I have to fight this, huh? Not gonna do me any favors. We're gonna take the uh, night battle as well on this one, so that we can hurt their morale just a little bit, just a little bit more. And I'm not really sure what our overall strategy is gonna be next. Like everybody in our immediate vicinity is. Uh, friendly. We could try to go eastward through the factions that were vassals to Duchy of Song. But uh, Kingdom of Wu is going to declare war on us at some point here. I just know that. This is it, huh? Our two units of archers. Okay. Um, <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put one right there. That's where you're going to go. I'll sacrifice you. Warriors of Yi, I have a single unit. Um, I'm going to put that just there. Rapid Tiger Infantry. Jean Sword Guards. Two on each side. John Sorgard Cavalry, good units. Alright, do I have to go over there too? Or are you going to come over here? There's your tower. Uh, looks like I have to go over there. Don't want to go over there. I feel like the Rapid Tiger Infantry should have a an ability like the Yari um, 
Yari Samurai in Shogun 2, where they can rapid advance. I think that would be fitting. Okay. This is going to be a challenge. When is it not? I'm going to put the archers in front. A uh, little ways in front, too. Let them take some extra damage. Uh, about there. Ought to do it. They've set their oil on fire. <laughs> a little premature. Uh, we're getting hit by the tower, I think. So let's um, let's shoot that cav unit and let's shoot the G militia that are almost broken. And then the rest of this stuff. Uh, about to there. Out to there. Can I goad you forward? You're not doing it. They're not having it. Uh, what is all that? There are like a bunch of little explosions. What happened there? Are they smoke bombs? Because they're invisible now. I'm so confused. <laughs> what are all these abilities? I'm so confused. Yeah, they're uh, firing at us now. So let's go ahead. Well, you know what? We'll just eat some of that fire. These are our nice units here. They got good block chance. And then we'll go turtle. Like when we think they're going to charge. Okay, here they come. Okay, so we stop. Uh, shoot him. There it is. Rapid Tiger Infantry up. Crush that. Okay, you're going to come in here. You're going to go in the back. You're going to go in the back. You're going to go in the back. You're going to slowly move up. You're going to go there. You're going to go over there. Uh, we are crushing this force. Oh, there we go. Customers. So there's a bunch of invisible troops back here. I had no idea what's going on with that. Am I missing a unit over here? Oh, yeah, there we go. I mean, look at this stuff. They got nothing on me. Nothing. You got nothing. Pull him off his horse. Um, boom, boom. Hey, get in there. You get on him. You get on them. You run them off the field. You get on her. Get on him. Stay on that. Capture the tower. Run them off. Get in there. All right, you're going to go back that way. You're going to defeat them. You go that way. Get our general over here. I mean, we are just absolutely demolishing these armies. Okay, so where's that one unit of cav that's going to, like, hold up the whole battle for 57 minutes? Yeah, this time I didn't have to deal with it. 
Uh, pop, 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 pop. You're not doing anything. Go kill her. Kill that. Kill that. Kill that. Really? You're just going to stand there and get hit by tower fire? Is that your plan? Apparently, you got to be really close to these ones. Uh, you guys go left. You guys go right. If I come out of this, my general's dead because of that tower. You can bet I'm going to be upset. All right, let's speed it up a bit. Chase their stuff. Crush this force. Why'd you stop? Because you have guard mode on, that's why. I thought I turned guard mode off on my cav. It's like step number one of deployment. But apparently these ones all have it still on. Okay. Fine. We smashed her. Smashed her good. And she's in a force march, so I think she gets wiped out. I can't remember. Maybe she can retreat. Action leader survives. We are going to take the ransom. That's right. She got pushed into the river. Have a bath, you stink. Oh! <laughs> so she died. Even though we didn't kill her in the battle, the army got wiped out, and she doesn't have the opportunity to, to live. Well, okay then. Oh, man. I'm hoping that if they come back and attack him, he retreats um, well. <laughs> I'm hoping for a nice retreat path there. We got 11,000. Uh, how much do we pay upkeep for this force? So, I mean, we could get another army on the field right now, I think. I think we could. Um, but I'm going to play it just a little bit risky uh, still. What do we have here? Crossbow, 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 crossbow. Archer militia, archer militia. Yeah, there's no fire arrows there. They do have increased campaign movement range. We don't know if they have fire arrows here. And even if he has it, he's got a bunch of crossbows. So nothing, nothing doing. Uh, where are you? are just a court noble. So you're not doing anything quite yet. Where would I like you then? If we ever recruit you. Let's look at that. Oh. Uh, public order is now slightly down. Oh, at Luoyang, it's down by quite a bit. That makes sense, though. Devastation. Yeah, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to repair, 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 and repair. How much is it down by the devastation? 10. So that's a big difference. Uh, other than that, though, we're still pretty good public order-wise. I think we're one turn away from a reform. I don't think there's any more movement we can do here. Check our diplomacy. Quick deal for peace. Nobody likes it. Nobody likes to cooperate. All right. I don't think there's anything else I can do right now. I don't want to recruit an army. Except maybe just kind of get peace with you. Okay, your food is very poor. Make this work. What do you want? Oh, my God. Oh, that's a lot of money, but if I can't defeat these armies up here easily, I would have to spend at least this much just recruiting an army down here. Then I have to wait several turns, wait for the upkeep. So since he's only asking for money... What if I give him six food? Eight food. Okay. It really grinds my gears 
um, that this little putz of a faction over here with two settlements, two commanderies, is finagling 4,200 out of me. But they are basically exploiting, you know, a weakness in my position here where I have all my strength up here. But we get peace with them for a few turns. That's going to allow us to focus more on Li Miao. We don't have to bring anything down here. So this 4,200 is cheaper than recruiting a new army down here. It allows the army over here to fend off Li Mao here. And then we got one, two, three, four armies up here. Two of them could maybe go down the river and get into Li Mao's territory on this peninsula. Like if we could get all the way down to here and start working our way in this way, then we could maybe kind of pinch or move around some of this stuff here. And we can get this whole uh, chunk of land going all the way to the ocean, to the Pacific Ocean. So we're going to do this. It irritates me to no end. I probably could have, I could have thrown in a couple um, stupid ancillaries, but you know, we're going to get all that money back in basically one turn after fighting some battles anyway. So I don't care. That's fine. Fair trade, you obnoxious minor faction. Oh, well, I didn't expect that. Okay, uh, when we come back in the next one, another cliffhanger, jazz hands. We're going to come back in the next one. We're going to fight this battle. Uh, maybe we can win. We have an army nearby that we could maybe come back over and get the uh, farm very quick. If they don't like lower the, the farm level from four to three, then it's really not that big of a deal. But with the towers and stuff, we might be able to do it. They got the one unit here or here. One of these, I think, has fire arrows i think it's this one uh but outside of that the towers and stuff oh and if we get our our deployments i have no idea if we have deployments on this i guess we'll find out next time let me know if you enjoyed this one with comments or thumbs up i'm enjoying things of course as always and um, i look forward to seeing you next time you have a good afternoon and take care